Well, that was indeed a, a fitting tribute and the voice that helped narrate the history of our national pastime continues to link generations of fans. Joining us here today are some of the fans, the men and women inspired by your words. You've given them a priceless gift, and in return, they'd like to bestow upon you some of the honor you've brought to the game. Traditionally, one of the Yankee partners, Modell's Sporting Goods Store, would give you a, a sports-related gift. However, they heard a story about a man and a woman who had their very first date at the beach. That was 38 years ago. For Bob and Mary, it was love at first sight. So, Models has decided to send you and Mary on a date to the beach. The Bahamas, to be exact. Ladies and gentlemen, here to present the gift of romance, the president of Models Sporting Goods, Mr. Mitchell Modell. Thank you, Mitchell. Chase Manhattan Bank, the title sponsor of Bob Shepard Day, is ever so proud to be part of today's festivities. Each and every fan at today's game received a commemorative lapel pin in celebration of your 50th anniversary season. On behalf of Chase Manhattan Bank, Mr. Andy Parton, Vice President of Marketing, is pleased to present you with the original framed artwork a tribute to your glorious career. In addition to the artwork, Andy will also present Mary with a gold pin charm and Bob with a gold lapel pin commemorating this marvelous day. Thank you, Andy. When one characterizes the true meaning of a Hall of Famer, the word dignity comes to mind. The National Baseball Hall of Fame and Museum's mission is to honor excellence and recount the storied history of our national pastime. The Hall of Fame would not be complete without telling your story. Joining us on behalf of the Baseball Hall of Fame, the Vice Chairman, Jane Clark, the President, Dale Petrowski. They're here because at the conclusion of this season, your microphone will have a permanent home in Cooperstown. Well, Bob, through the years, You've heard and read proclamations for various players and events. Well, now the mayor has acknowledged you by declaring Sunday, May 7th, the year 2000, Bob Shepard Day in New York. Reggie Jackson will present you with a framed proclamation. It's not often that you get the luxury of watching the games from a place other than the press box of Yankee Stadium. Our partner, The Wiz, wanted you to make sure that when the team is away, you get to watch the games, the Yankee games, in style. So on behalf of The Wiz, Vice President Mark Eisenberg will present you and Mary with a 36-inch RCA color television for your game viewing pleasure. One of uh, Bob's sons has a strong connection to the next partner of the New York Yankees. You see, Bob's son, Chris, is a pilot 
on Continental Airlines. Continental is proud to be a part of your special day. They wouldn't miss it for the world. So on behalf of Continental Airlines, Kevin Gallagher, manager of sponsorship marketing, will present you and Mary with two round trip first class tickets to the international destination of your choice. Kevin Gallagher. Bob, very few men have been involved in the New York sports scene for as many years as you. Except for this man, he is the award-winning cartoonist that created 14,000 sports cartoons in his illustrious career. He honored you in this morning's Daily News with a cartoon depicting your five greatest moments. And he's here to present you with the original framed artwork. Ladies and gentlemen, the legendary Bill Gallo. Well, Bob, we know that you and Mary drive to Florida every year. Well, this year, it's going to feel a little bit different. You'll be behind the wheel of a brand new Dodge Intrepid ES fully loaded with a sunroof. A gift to you from the New York Yankees. And on behalf of the Yankees, here's Bobby Mercer to present you with the keys. Well, Bob, you've received some meaningful tributes today, but you've yet to be given an honor that you so richly deserve. Mr. Cronkite, would you uh, please rejoin me at the microphone? Look to the wrong way. <laughs> you mentioned earlier that Bob Shepard has become synonymous with the many Yankee greats that he has introduced over the last 50 years. The New York Yankees could not agree more. And now, if the Shepard family would please move over to that side, the left side of the Yankee banner, situated at home plate. And if our Yankee family would please join them on the right side. Only 21 men have received the ultimate honor of a plaque or monument in the sacred grounds of Monument Park. Well, Bob, today, this exclusive membership increases by one. And the plaque reads, the plaque reads, <laughs> the plaque reads, <laughs> the plaque reads, Bob Shepard, public address announcer, the voice of Yankee Stadium. For half a century, he has welcomed generations of fans with his trademark greeting, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Yankee Stadium. His clear, concise, and correct vocal style has announced the names of hundreds of players, both unfamiliar and legendary, with equal divine reverence, making him as synonymous with Yankee Stadium as his copper facade and monument park here. Dedicated by the New York Yankees, May 7th, 2000, 50th anniversary season.
Now, if everyone would sit down, please. Ladies and gentlemen, the honoree, Mr. Bob Shepard.